Paul Newman was an Academy Award-winning American actor, accomplished entrepreneur, professional race driver, activist, and philanthropist. Famous for his dashing looks and striking blue eyes, he is regarded as one of the most handsome men to have graced Hollywood. A highly talented actor with multiple awards for his performances, he was also a successful race driver with several national championships to his name. The son of a sports store owner, he acquired his penchant for acting from his theater-loving mother. Though he was more interested in athletics, he went on to participate in many school plays. As a young man, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy Air Corps and served as a radio operator during World War II. After the war, he studied drama and ventured into Broadway. He got noticed for his good looks and well-built physique which landed him film roles in Hollywood. It did not take him long to establish himself as a successful actor, and he went on to appear in films like The Hustler and The Color of Money. In addition to being an actor, he was also an entrepreneur who co-founded a food company called Newman's Own. The legendary actor was also well known for his involvement in philanthropic activities. Paul Newman was an Academy Award-winning American actor, accomplished entrepreneur, professional race driver, activist, and philanthropist. Famous for his dashing looks and striking blue eyes, he is regarded as one of the most handsome men to have graced Hollywood. A highly talented actor with multiple awards for his performances, he was also a successful race driver with several national championships to his name. The son of a sports store owner, he acquired his penchant for acting from his theater-loving mother. Though he was more interested in athletics, he went on to participate in many school plays. As a young man, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy Air Corps and served as a radio operator during World War II. After the war, he studied drama and ventured into Broadway. He got noticed for his good looks and well-built physique which landed him film roles in Hollywood. It did not take him long to establish himself as a successful actor, and he went on to appear in films like The Hustler and The Color of Money. In addition to being an actor, he was also an entrepreneur who co-founded a food company called Newman's Own. The legendary actor was also well known for his involvement in philanthropic activities. Paul Newman enlisted in the U.S. Navy Air Corps and served as a radio operator during World War II. Upon his return, he completed his Bachelor of Arts degree in Drama and Economics from Kenyon College in 1949. He started working with summer stock companies and toured with them, developing his acting skills in the process. He furthered his skills at the Yale School of Drama and then moved to New York City to study under Lee Strasberg at the Actors Studio. He made his Broadway debut in William Inga's Picnic in 1953. During this time, he also started appearing on television and made his Hollywood debut as well. Unfortunately, his first film The Silver Chalice, 1954, was a flop. He finally gained attention for his good looks and acting skills in 1956 when he appeared as Rocky Graziano in Somebody Up There Likes Me. He followed it up with another hit in 1958, starring opposite Elizabeth Taylor in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. In 1960, he appeared in Otto Preminger's epic film Exodus, which was based on Leon Uris' novel. His career thrived during the 1960s with the release of films like The Hustler, 1961, HUD, 1963, Harper, 1966, Ombre, 1967, and Cool Hand Luke, 1967. He tried his hand at film direction and directed the drama film Rachel, Rachel, 1968, which starred his wife Joanne Woodward in title character. The film earned him the Golden Globe Award for Best Director, Motion Picture, and New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Director. His successful career continued throughout the 1970s and 1980s. In 1986, he appeared in The Color of Money, in which he played the role of Eddie Felsen. His performance in the film won him many awards and accolades. He remained active in films well into the last decade of his life. Apart from being passionate about movies, he also had a deep interest for motorsports. He was a frequent competitor in the events organized by Sports Car Club of America, SCCA, 
and won several national championships as a race driver. In 1986, he portrayed pool hustler and stakehorse Edward Fast Eddie Felsen in the drama film The Color of Money, which was based on the 1984 novel of the same name by Walter Tevis. The film received critical praise and Newman's performance was lauded. His role as Donald J. Sully Sullivan in the 1994 comedy drama film Nobody's Fool was one of his memorable performances. Appreciated by film critics, Newman's performance was said to be the single best of this year and among the finest he has ever given. Along with writer A. E. Hotchner, Newman co-founded a line of food products called Newman's Own in 1982. He donated all post-tax profits and royalties from the business to charity. As of December 2018, donations from his business had exceeded $535 million. In 1988, he co-founded the Serious Fund Children's Network, a program which funds camps for children suffering from HIV, AIDS, sickle cell disease, cancer, and other serious illnesses. The network has served more than 732,306 children since its inception. Paul Newman won the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, Laurel Award for Top Male Dramatic Performance, and Mar del Plata Film Festival Award for Best Actor for his performance as Eddie Felsen in The Hustler, 1961. He received an Honorary Academy Award in 1986 for his many and memorable and compelling screen performances. In 1986, he also won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance as Fast Eddie Felsen in The Color of Money. For the film Nobody's Fool, 1994, he won several awards, including National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Actor, New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Actor, and Silver Bear for Best Actor at the Berlin International Film Festival. In 1994, Paul Newman and his wife received the Award for Greatest Public Service Benefiting the Disadvantaged, an award given out annually by Jefferson Awards. In 2015, the U.S. Postal Service honored him by issuing a stamp called Forever Stamp, featuring his photograph. His first marriage was with Jackie Witt from 1949 to 1958. This union produced three children. He married actor Joanne Woodward in 1958. They had three daughters. His second marriage proved to be a happy one, and the couple remained together for 50 years until Newman's death in 2008. He was an ordained minister of the Universal Life Church. Paul Newman suffered from lung cancer during his later years, and died on September 26, 2008, aged 83.